some people like this episode. I'll have to see how it is for me. Okay. We're all set. We're all set, chat. All right, I'm turning it up. I cannot believe you still have not turned off Gilliman's life support. <laughs> well, I will look at you, my lord. I am tired Eventually. of all your eventualities. <laughs> you must do it. It is important. And I will in due time, my lord. Do it and no o o o w. No. Oh, he's I he's talking not. back. Are you defying me? Yes, in this particular instance, I am. Yes. Then I have no choice. I challenge you. Oh, to no. a game of paradox, <laughs> billiards, mouse troy, and roulette, fourth dimensional hypercube chess strip poker. Oh, I remember yeah. this. If you win, I will let it slide for now. But if I win, I will banish you to the realm of Ultramar until you have completed this mission. Oh. But I don't even know how to play paradox billiards. <laughs> Are we gonna learn? Chips poker. I will have a tech priest give you the knowledge instantly <laughs> with the power of science. I think so too. Oh! There we go. Now you will be fit with the proper gear as well. Oh no. Why is it necessary? already know, so be quiet. Your deck has already been... As, as a, a, a joke, I don't know if anyone watched the... Well, no, if anyone listened or read The End and the Death, uh, while they're, uh, the Emperor and Horus are fighting, they have a... <laughs> <laughs> they basically throw tarot cards at each other, and it was really funny. It could kind of be like a Yu-Gi-Oh game. And then I saw a meme later, because Horace kept pulling out. He's like, demon, 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 demon. Like, he basically cheated. Like, he, he straight up said he made his own deck. Like, the Chaos Gods helped him make a deck. Then I saw a meme later that was about the Pot of Greed. I know nothing about the game, but it was like... I, I, I play Pot of Greed and I pull three more cards and then I can't play this and this and then I go to my deck and I pull Pot of Greed and... <laughs> Are we gonna do this today? <laughs> I thought it was so funny. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's what I know. I wonder if we're gonna do that. Yu-Gi-Oh. How did I say it? Yu-Gi-Oh. How? Did I say Yu-Gi-Oh? I don't know. You, I thought I said U G O. Okay, okay. I don't, yeah, I I said did I say Yu Gi Oh one time? I thought I'd been saying U G O. Whatever, it's fine. I, you know, thank you for correcting me. <laughs> thank you. I summon pot of greed. <laughs> Assembled based upon normal activity in your cerebrum, as well as total type casting. <laughs> What is this even? I just had all game rules implanted directly into your mind. You already know fucking everything, so stop. Perfect. Me and let us play. Man, I wish I wish I could do that to, to anyone at my house who has to learn a new game. My family loves game nights, and it takes forever to explain a new game to people. I have no clue. I have no you gi o not you g okay. That's not clear. Hard G, but it's fine. This is this is why I, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What was I saying? If I could implement like rules directly into someone's head, it would save us so much time. Oh my gosh, this is just all right. I'm ready. Bahamut Bard is gonna clip me, and it's gonna be me saying you gi o wrong. <laughs> I love it. Someone said gee like in GIF, yeah. <laughs> oh, it does. It means king of games in Japanese, I think. Oh, good to know. Thanks for the bits. All right, we're going to go back to it. Sorry. <laughs> the stakes. Oh, no. The boys! Oh, my, my, my. If Kitten loses this duel, which no doubt will happen, is he gonna have to take off his armor? Because <laughs> it's time. it's also strip poker. Actually, I am banishing you too. Sorry, what? This is now an all. <laughs> <laughs> Holy terror! I love it. If you lose this ultra game. And your friends will all be banished to the Ultramar Realm. Ultramar Realm? <laughs> Kitten! 
You are only hope. Sleep. <laughs> 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 I'll try to play, I guess. As long as you look away when the whole strip part of this comes to play. They don't he doesn't want them to see how like how unbelievably gorgeous he is. They're gonna be so jealous. <laughs> yeah, they're I could see what they're saying next. <laughs> No promises are made. Oh boy. Promises are made. All right, son. Yo, start things off. Draw your five cards. Okay, here goes. You know, I am looking at these cards right now, and my mm -hmm. Lord, I don't think this is neither billiard, chess, hypercube, strip poker, or story roulette, <laughs> nor a combination of the five. This is just a children's card game. By the Milky Way's memories, I will <laughs> shimmel out the whole fucking can and let you start playing. Sorry, the Milky Way's memories. They lose a dual USA version sensor it to banishing them to the Shadow Realm. What? They actually did that? They did that? Oh my god. Oh, it's, it's not just a game of cards anymore. I should probably start easy defensive. This creepy bug man man mode is a trick. <laughs> if he is attacked, he will destroy whatever is attacked by him. They just want I'll other people to play the game. Down and end my turn. Yo have already lost. It is like yo do not know who you are playing with. Well, he's my never played! The effect of my golden ladybug activates, giving me 500 extra life points. Oh, of course the he's a golden one. How is she ever going to win now? <laughs> Ivan activates mug ass butt and sang green. Hey, it's part of green! Yes! <laughs> I'm so good at this! <laughs> oh, um, I'm sorry. This this makes me so happy. <laughs> I called it. I called pot of green. <laughs> Oh, chat. <laughs> but this one only lets you draw two cards. Unlike the, I think, uh, probably an updated one. Maybe an updated edition. <laughs> a pot of green. His little smug face. Do they sell, like, do people go online and, like, make their own pottery of the pot of greed? I think that might sell. Sell really well. <laughs> Drawing extra cards. Drawing extra cards in the game is extremely broken. That is why Pot of Greed and similar cards are banned or limited. Mmm. Oh, well, probably like this one too. Graceful Charity, which is draw... I can't read it. It's fuzzy. One card, then discard two. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I'm so... <laughs> Karen, allowing me to draw five new cards in total. Oh, no, it lets you However, draw three cards. due to the charity... I have to discard two of the cards I have into the warp, and my chosen sacrifices shall be the golden ladybug and the shitty chaos looking brother fuck. Why? Fortunately, throwing him in the grave warp gives me an extra card. Oh so no. It six new ones in total. Oh boy. I'm sorry, but isn't that super cheap? I mean, why wouldn't you have those cards in your deck? There's no reason not to. I am the Emperor and was destined to wield the very best cards humanity has ever created. Including the broken ones. The Mata is not exactly <laughs> merciful in the warp sunshine. And speaking of which, I now activate Obedient School. This allows me to bring forth three different beasts from my deck what? and summon them to this realm. Uh, I choose a happy snake, oh. abomination dog, and horse bird. Oh, okay, okay. They are all an infinite amount more loyal and tasteful in choice of attire compared to the three strippy tears <laughs> over there. Oh, no, blessed biceps! Our glorious overlord has three servants out on the field already! And they're all lusting of life points! How is Kitten ever going to do it now? <laughs> that is certainly bad news for me. Yeah. My turn? Did I say I was done? Oh, Baby no. Boy, let me tell you I am far from done oh, serving no. this he's, gold he's, plate he's of shit cheating. explosion sandwich to you. For Yossi, I sacrifice all three of my beasts. Wait, he's just oh, flexing! A much greater servant. Just in it, lost the it's game. so bright! Are all the messages cruel? Is whoever really summoning it? He's just flexing! Behold. Oh. Make an ultra chicken. Let 
Mega Ultra Chicken. Of course, he wants a gold item. My chicken's effect allows me to pay all but 100 of my point lives to increase its attack to ludicrous amounts. Uh, attack points? Yeah, that, that's pretty no. is busted. We can't give up our faith in Kitten yet. I mean, our glorious overlord only has 100 life points left now. Uh. You can do it, Kitten. Just believe in the heart of the cards. Cards don't need to circulate blood. The heart is but one. Bruh, no, 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 it's... it's... <laughs> <laughs> no, stop, 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 stop. No, stop. We don't need to talk about those things. The heart is just fine. We don't gotta get into it, man. <laughs> Still not done though. How much what? Are we doing this? I need to do the dishes, sir. I now set a card and activate the temp love bikinis. Okay. Since I am technically a king, I am allowed access to the activation of I don't cards know about that one. Well, that's cheating. So now I activate the card DNA surgery. Now, through the power of science, my mega ultra chicken is experimented on as my great Astartes children are so we <laughs> can attain a new form. Oh, so what is Welcome it? Welcome your glorious golden subjugator, the Wind Warrior of Terra. <gasps> Wait! Is that Sanguidius? It looks like Sanguidius! Whatever. But he seems exactly the same to me in all other accounts. That is, because I am not done yet. Oh yet. no. And now bring upon him the noble arms of destiny. Since he is now a warrior with hands and a brain larger than a walnut, <laughs> he is allowed to carry weapons legally, especially marvelous weapons such as these that deny all which is that try to surpass us. That is to say, it makes him indestructible. Uh, okay. That's nasty. That means Kitten can't possibly hope to destroy it. Oh, she good <laughs> And now, for the final touch, by throwing away a useless card. I also equip my warrior with the twin swords of flashing light. Ah! It reduces the attack. He's cheating. He's kind of cheating. Five hundred. But now he is allowed to attack two times in a fucking rope. B I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Ouch. Yeah, he gone her. Okay, my emperor. Are you done now? No, he gets nope. to attack twice. My warrior may be as glamorous as a golden sun filled with glitter, but I feel this realm is not golden enough. Yes. So it is time to terraform. Make her. it gold. With this I am allowed to take oh, a with the card, spell of course, of from course. my deck. And now. I am going to activate it. I turn this throne into an iridescent golden palace with the golden castle of Stromberg. I have never seen such radiant beauty outside my mirror before. Ew! No! They're looking at each other in the reflection of their own oiled abs. What is this? Oh my gosh, that's so. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Wait, you're saying this isn't even cheating? Modern decks can do much worse? What? I mean, he did cheat at that one point where he says, he's like, oh, well, I'm technically a king, which he is, but that doesn't... I don't think that means he can just straight up use the, the items on the card. Holy cow. Okay. My turn. This castle forces you to summon and attack with a monster every time you enter your battle phases. Oh my. And each monster that tries to attack is automatically destroyed, and half of its attack points are drawn from your life. However, this card does have a maintenance fee, as half a deck of cards has oh. to be thrown into the graveyard every turn for it to stay active. Oh Fortunately, my. it is your deck that stands for the cost. Wait, so how? Why? What kind of cheap card is that? You can't have a game with a card that overpowered in it. Only I have one, so it is fair. Does anyone even play this game except you? <laughs> I was gonna say. Cinch does. Here, here, here's, here's the thought. If he actually, like... I know he wants to flex and he wants to win, but he could actually enjoy himself more if he just, like, sat down and, like, played the game. He could play it for longer and have fun. And Zinch sounds like a terrible person to play against. It sounds like negative fun. Negative fun. He'd be all... Best ways. Zeech is a giant nerd now, isn't he? Shut up he always was. He always and was a nerd. Now, before the dishes stack up too tightly. <laughs> this is really bad. If 
he is forced to attack, you will lose automatically. The only way he loses is by somehow destroying that castle. Mm -hmm. Foam also, the castle is indestructible. Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, now. And even if Stop he saying that. The castle, my warrior would still super murder anything he has. There is no hope. Now draw your last pathetic card so I can end this panonic. Well, okay, I guess. Oh shit, there goes half my deck. Good. It is time. Um, my lord, you did say your castle was indestructible, right? Nothing to destroy it? Whatever measly attempt Mo throw at it will not even scratch it. I guess in oh, that yeah. case I'll play this! Giant True Maid! All spells and traps go back to people's hands! Yeah! No destructions here. What the fuck? And, uh... I summon Wind Up Kitten! And then I use its own effect <laughs> so your monster goes back to your hand! Nice! Good! W -A -W -A -W -A -W -A -W yes! And yes! Wind up, kitten! Attack his life points directly with your wind up cat attack. <laughs> what the heck? Wow, okay. He, he did it! Kitten actually did it! We're free! I am surprised by this immense force to <laughs> no! I thought they were gonna make a joke about immense fortitude. Oh, like your old kitten. <laughs> but they didn't. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness they didn't. <laughs> I've heard that's not how wind up kitten works. That's fine. It's fine. It's all in good fun. It's like the perfect card for kitten, though. Yeah, it could actually happen in the game. Yeah, oh. that can actually happen in the game. I bet you it's a nuts. It sounds very complicated. Stripping, but there was none. I'm sorry. Played a fucking children's card game. Looks like it was a good Be quiet. The spin-off was dumb. Let us never speak of it again. But my lord, <laughs> I am king of the card game. Oh now. no. Silence. Go and wash dishes. Washing detergent in attack mode. <laughs> That's so good. And that was that was fantastic. I loved it. That was it was wonderful. <laughs> I have never played you, Gio. Oh, I'm paranoid. I'm paranoid. I'm paranoid. Yugi. Oh, okay. <laughs> But that makes me laugh even more because it's <laughs> it's perfect. The Emperor likes his tarot deck and he definitely played a Yu-Gi-Oh game <laughs> with with Horus in the end of the death. It was funny. <laughs> I play the demon, the demon, the demon. 